everyone and it's finally time for my Lolita wardrobe tour so let's start with the dress I am wearing this is actually a wholesale dress it does not really have a brand I got it on Aliexpress I normally wouldn't recommend buying dresses on there but I absolutely fell in love with the print on this it is so nice at least the print is um, I might do like a kind of review video on this dress alone if anyone's interested I've actually seen a few people with this dress al already online so yeah then I'm also wearing my bad overskirt from Lady Sloth and this lovely blouse this is one of my favorite blouses because it's just so nice with the glittery sheer sleeves and then the bad collar and the golden star shaped buttons now four dresses let's start with this one this is actually the first dress that i bought um, i'm not huh? oh. i'm not a hundred percent sure on the name um I bought this dress on Devil Inspired um, and I've noticed that um, the names on Devil Inspired sometimes differ from the names um, that you can find on Lollibrary. I actually checked or uh, I tried looking on Lollibrary but uh, I could not find this dress. I know it's um, just a Chinese indie brand uh, I believe if my notes are correct uh, it is called the Sylvia GSK and it is from the brand Mofina now the print on this dress is very like medieval kind of themed it has a knight sitting on a throne in the front it has some skulls it has uh, an eagle or a hawk i'm not sure and then the thing that sold me on this dress is it has a dragon like Look how cool that is. Since this is the first dress that I got, it's kind of very different from all the other ones that I have currently, but I still very much like it. I definitely need an excuse to wear this somewhere. The next dress is this one it is sugary bones from we're all mad here um, I believe this dress was released in like 2013 or something I'm not entirely sure um, I've always loved these dresses uh, ever since I saw them on tumblr I absolutely adored them um, I think my favorite colorway for this is um, the black one but when I saw this one on lace market and at a very reasonable price I just could not resist I had to have it 
it's just so nice. The next dress is Halloween origami from Lady Sloth in the purple version. You've already seen this one. Then we have uh, spooky macarons from Lady Sloth, also in the purple version. Then we have this dress from Cheese Coco, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've usually found uh, two names for this dress. It's either uh, Nienpire or um, Cat Vampire, I believe. It's really cute. It has cats and pumpkins. The next one is this dress from Diamond Honey. I believe it is either called um, Heartbound JSK or uh, Sweet and Cool Girl JSK. I found it under those two names. Um, the only problem I have with this one is like the waist is very high up so i'll usually wear like a, a thick belt over it to lower the waist but otherwise it's also really cute it doesn't have a ton of detail or a um, nice finish but i really like the print Then next up we have Sweetie Hospital, also from Diamond Honey. I've already talked about this in another haul before. So yeah. Then this one is also a bit different from everything else that I have. Um, it does not have any straps or sleeves. Uh, this is from Bodyline, and I believe it is called Dolce Diamond Rose or something. Um, it is really nice. At first, it seems very simple, but if you look closer, you can see a rose type of pattern over the... Uh, diamond pattern. It's also quite heavy and it has, I um, can't rem remember the name, but like the bars inside to give it more structure. Then the next one is a uh, kind of a skirt um, cello pet combo. This upper part is detachable from the lower part, so you can wear it either as a skirt or as a cello pet. This one, I believe, is called Candy Carnival and it is by the brand Kiana. My phone died, but I am back. We were at this skirt cello pet combo deal. So the name of this was Candy Carnival. Um, I have no idea why uh, this dress is like all over the place with the print and everything. Like on this part you can see it has like a rib cage with skulls in it, I think, 
there's blood butterflies, there's bat wings, then there's these horribly anatomically incorrect skulls that are so ugly, but somehow I love them because of that. There's like a stripy border, some star lace at the bottom. We have some candy clip-on thingies. Um, I believe I have a big bow that you can attach on it. Um, that's like the same stripy thing as the border. It's like very much all over the place, but it is a whole ass vibe. I don't know. I just like it. Next up is the Halloween origami skirt in orange. Um, the it normally had like a big bow, like on the dress. Um, it fell off. I still have it. Um, I don't know if I'll just put pins on it so I can put it on wherever or I don't know. Then we have spooky macarons, the uh, skirt in lavender. Um, I actually got this before I got the JSK. Uh, but I kind of regretted not having the JSK. Uh, and then I uh, bought the JSK second hand from someone and I'll probably be selling this skirt. I'll put it up on uh, my Vinted account I think and uh, I'll put the link to it in the description box. Uh, I believe those were all my dresses and skirts. Then the next thing I have is this overdress from uh, Infanta, I believe. It's nice and flowy. Then I have this cropped chiffon blouse from Lady Slot. It's the one with the um, Halloween um, lace. Next is this very basic simple blouse. The brand seems to be Sleep Doll. It's very basic. Then I have this chiffon princess leaf blouse. I don't know the brand if it even has one. It's just a simple one with like the cross straps. Um, don't worry, I don't uh, keep them, keep these stored like this on a hanger. I know the elastic will die if I do. Then we have this blouse. Um, this one actually came with the candy carnival dress. It's just a basic black blouse with buttons. Um, the sleeves are kind of puffy like this. It has like a sheer layer over the regular layer. And this part here is also see-through. Then I have this blouse. This one came with the first dress I, I uh, showed you. Then I have this purple long sleeve blouse. It's a very dusty purple. I just kind of liked it. Uh, the brand of this is a Rose Serenade. Then next up is this cropped 
white blouse with some pink detailing it's really cute the only downside i've noticed is um these buttons are very bulky so you'll have to see um under what dress you'll wear it and the brand is doll paradise and then we have this crop chiffon blouse uh, from Centauro and then the last thing I want to show you is not a Lolita specific item but I actually got it at a uh, flea market and I thought it could work perfectly with Lolita it is this cropped faux fur jacket the length of this just seemed perfect for Lolita and I got it for like 5 euros I believe if I'm not mistaken I'm actually quite excited to try to cord this piece with something so um, that was everything in my Lolita wardrobe at the moment I seem to have accumulated quite a bit so far um, oh no what is my bow doing what have I done okay. better I think um, tell me in the comments uh, which one's your favorite and which one you'd really like to um, see me make a chord with um, also maybe if anyone's interested in um, a video where I put something together or if you want to see my partner put something together for me let me know um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!